having a particularly uncommon personality type. Not everyone is used to encountering Sigma INFJ. When they encounter a Sigma INFJ, most people do not completely comprehend what they are. When people are still beginning to understand the INFJ without Sigma, they want to talk about Sigma INFJ because specific things about it jump out to them. These are a few explanations for why people discuss about Sigma INFJ so frequently. Number 10, the environment is particularly important to the Sigma INFJ. The Sigma INFJ personality type enjoys considering the broad picture and how it influences the world. The environment and the harm that humanity has caused to it are important to the Sigma INFJ. Because of this, Sigma INFJs are very outspoken and enthusiastic about things like the environment. Through protecting the environment, they hope to make the world a better place. They are more interested in persuading people to alter their routines. The Sigma INFJ rarely strikes up a conversation, but they will when the subject is related to their surroundings. They aspire to speak for the earth and be heard. Frequently brought up is the Sigma INFJ, because the majority of people don't give a damn about the environment. Nearly everyone is concerned with themselves, and they pay little to no attention to the effects of their activities on the rest of the world. The first time someone meets Sigma INFJ, they will undoubtedly notice their passion for the environment. Number 9. INFJ Sigma makes a great leader. People look up to leaders and want them to inspire them to be the best versions of themselves. The Sigma INFJ personality type is arguably the finest for leadership roles. When you have a great leader, it's impossible not to talk about them. Thus, they motivate you. Sigma INFJ excels at taking good care of its members. They are excellent listeners and recognize where their team members need to grow, which makes them excellent leaders. When one of their number is struggling, they can identify it and they know just how to support them without coddling them. Sigma INFJ will not only lead their team to victory, but they will also enhance their teammates' individual skills. Would you like Sigma INFJ to lead you? Number 8. The interests of others are peaks for the Sigma INFJ. The Sigma INFJ personality type is exceedingly reserved. They typically avoid social interactions and keep to themselves. This characteristic gives them a very enigmatic and avian appearance. Some people think this trait to be quite appealing, and because of this trait, many people discuss the Sigma INFJ. Being highly mysterious attracts the attention of others. Because humans have a tendency to be curious about things and people we don't know very well. Furthermore, Sigma INFJs are extremely guarded in their communication and frequently leave others guessing what they actually mean or what they are all about. Despite being highly sensitive, if they don't feel like talking to the person in front of them, Sigma INFJs can be rather dismissive. This dismissive style, which is referred to as INFJ Sigma behavior, increases their appeal to many individuals. Number 7. A Sigma INFJ is a great friend. Sigma INFJs are open to others, despite their rarity. They consider to be reliable enough for their friendship. A Sigma INFJ is a great friend. They almost always have the skills necessary to help you feel better if you are feeling a little under the weather. When it comes to their thoughts and opinions, they lack assertiveness. This indicates that they won't pressure you to share their beliefs or to alter your viewpoint to align with theirs. The Sigma INFJ knows when you just need a listener and when you need to say a few words. They won't think twice before criticizing you. When you are acting irrationally, and they still show kindness in those situations, people frequently praise Sigma INFJ for being a great buddy. Do you have a close buddy who might be an INFJ Sigma? Number 6. INFJ Sigmas are good people. INFJ Sigmas have a high level of altruism. They have an extremely generous nature and don't hesitate to help others especially when they have the ability to assist. 
Despite the fact that they don't interact with others often, remember that they do this because they want to protect themselves and do not want to be exposed. Their generosity is unaffected by this. Sigma INFJ is known by others as a generous and compassionate person. They are the kind of individuals you want in your circle of friends. Kind people always manage to come up as a discussion starter in other people's conversations. Number five, Sigma INFJs are highly educated. INFJ Sigma is very smart, and they are conscious of their potential. As a result, individuals can readily succeed in a variety of intellectually demanding tasks. This extends to discussions about one's academic career and even the workplace. They are frequently mentioned in class or at work since other people find their intelligence to be quite attractive. Despite their complexity because of their intelligence, they do not come across as conceited or offensive to others. Instead, they are incredibly modest and accommodating to people who ask for their assistance. They are considered to be a class achiever at school, yet they lack the nerd vibe. Which is strange. Do you know any educated individuals? Number four, the INFJ Sigma is quite adaptable. Sigma INFJ is more reserved than Sigma. They don't have that unsettling vibe. Because it can be adjusted. They can readily read the atmosphere and know how to blend in because they are fairly perceptive and intelligent. They are aware of how to act and conduct themselves such that others will naturally want to converse and become friends with them. Many people will remark that despite their quiet character, they don't really look left out because of their adaptability. Although the Sigma INFJ prefers to keep some things private, they are nevertheless highly adept at interacting with others. They are not afraid to engage in conflict. They are adept at handling frightened people while simultaneously being forceful. Number three, there are moments when Sigma INFJ exhibits perfectionism. Sigma INFJs are unquestionably known for being perfectionists due to their self-awareness and intellect. The Sigma INFJ does not take well to modest accomplishments. When they are aware that they are capable of doing or accomplishing more, Sigma INFJs typically do not settle for anything. Some find the Sigma INFJs meticulous tendencies appealing. This is due to the fact that the majority of individuals would choose for an average rating. Sigma INFJ will go above and above to accomplish their goals, since they are aware that the fight is worthwhile. This fastidious disposition does, however, have certain drawbacks. Some Sigma INFJs are so harsh on themselves that even after giving their utmost, they still feel unsatisfied. So, good or bad, is perfectionism. Number two, in comparison to its peers, the Sigma INFJ is mature. This demonstrates their intelligence as well. People in their age group tend to be more emotional and irrational than Sigma INFJs. They make excellent decisions and are excellent at handling disagreement because they are fairly mature. They are excellent arbitrators because they can keep cool under pressure. Because of their maturity, Sigma INFJs are idolized by many individuals. Number one, INFJ Sigma is extremely sensitive. Even though they have an unbothered persona, Sigma INFJs have strong emotions. They experience emotions more passionately and deeply than other people. This explains why they are easily injured and timid, especially if the offender is someone they consider to be a close friend or relative. The Sigma INFJ prefers to have superficial relationships. They are quite conscious of their sensitivity. They are aware that it can hurt them in the long run. Hence, they generally steer clear of meaningful relationships. However, given that they are people. Moreover, the Sigma INFJ has a few close friendships and or close family ties. Their sensitive side will soon be seen by the individuals they are closest to, and it will frequently come up in various conversations. Have you accepted your sensitive nature as a Sigma INFJ? Because Sigma INFJs are so uncommon, people don't always encounter them. People enjoy discussing them and their characteristics. 
plant's all about you. Because among the individuals you know, there might be a Sigma INFJ. What further traits of the Sigma INFJ have you heard about? Do you believe they are head-turners as well? 